In addition one, the goose communication was confined within the substation. There were no external connections to the outside world and as such, no real security was needed. The goose messages published using a broadcast approach on a local area network where one source was available to many. As we expand goose messages beyond the security of the substation, the potential for cyber attacks needed to be addressed to avoid a rogue identity from gaining access and possibly crippling the electrical infrastructure. A group known as NERC CIP, North American Electric Reliability Corporation, Critical Infrastructure Protection, coordinated efforts to improve the power system security. As part of the plan, it requires the use of firewalls to block vulnerable ports and the implementation of cyber attack monitoring tools. In other words, the firewall concept isolates the traffic between a trusted local area network and an untrusted wide area network by filtering the communications that go in and out of the substation. The Redable Goose concept was created for substation to substation communications across a wide area network. Previously, we spoke about the standard Goose where we were broadcasting to everyone. In the Redable Goose, the message will use a multicast approach on a wide area network and only send a message to intended recipients. Based on this, a security issue was raised. The Routable Goose will need to implement a security component to authorize and authenticate those recipients. We'll talk more about that in the next section. Let's take a look at what happens to a standard Goose and a Routable Goose when they reach a firewall on a router. The standard Goose is a multicast layer 2 messaging service originally intended for use only within a LAN environment. Goose messages don't have an IP address or transport capabilities. When it reaches a router, the firewall doesn't know what to do with it and drops into a bit bucket, essentially blocking it from getting past the router. The Argoose is a multicast layer 3 messaging service designed for use in a wide area network environment. It has UDP and IP headers assigned to it, which allows the Argoose message to pass through the router's firewall. Here we have a list of protocols that are available with a sample value, SV. Synchrophasers are now known as the Routable Sample Values, RSV. The Goose message, the Routable Goose, or the Argoose. PTP, Precision Time Protocol, uh, and also IEEE 1588. SNTP, Simple Network Time Protocol. And MMS, Manufacturing Messaging Specification. You'll see the only difference between the Goose and the Argoose is the UDP IP header. The guidelines for synchrophasers as far as security and transportation have been adapted to the Routable Goose. In the next section, we'll take a look at how we secured the Argoose.